We're gonna have our first of our content showcases. Uh, you're actually gonna get to see stuff that, you know, should be online, it's great, available for sponsorship. This is unfiltered and bringing it right to you. Our first one is a com comedic parenting show. It's really great and it's called Afterbirth. Please welcome to the stage, the very talented Dana Gould. People will walk up, point, and say, why did you adopt your baby? 25 years strong, raised print reads. Oh my God, my high school reunion. Well, let me look at my side of the family. There's the guy who still lives in the basement, the girl with a tattooed back, biker, boozer, dead tooth, too many cats, the guy that still talks to his truck. Mm. Maybe I adopted because genetically, my balls are full of poison. Bring your kids, fun for all, it says. And of course, it doesn't say bring your babies. <laughs> because who has a baby 25 years after graduating from high school? <laughs> My husband would cheerfully offer to change a poopy diaper or let me sleep in and I'd think, why don't you just go back to your studio and make music all day and night like my father did? Turns out this birth mom was a huge fan of Queer Eye. She thought gays would make good parents. Not sure why. Nice manners. Good grooming habits, maybe. Most likely to spend 90 bucks on baby Uggs. I want him to need me in the old way. I want him to need me to feed him. I want him to need me to laugh at his jokes and to clap at his made-up skits that are so boring and go on forever. We learned so much into the roughhousing. We like the smooth housing. Or no housing. Mom, I was just thinking, this might be the last year I ever live at home. Cool. Please welcome actor, writer, producer, and partner in Is or Isn't Entertainment, Dan Bukatinsky, and creator, producer, director, and author of Afterbirth, Danny Klein Modisette. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Those were snippets from the book launch party and the live performance of Afterbirth, stories you won't read about in a parenting magazine, which continues to play to sold out audiences throughout the country. All right, the show and the book, which was published last year as an anthology from St. Martin's Press, features some of the most exciting talent, and it all began when I was sitting home with my uh, screaming infant unable to breastfeed, and I thought, oh, how am I gonna get through this? I need to hear funny stories from people who have gotten to the other side of moments like this. So I called everybody I knew in the comedy community and asked them to please write a story about the moment you knew your life was changed forever becoming a parent. I remember when you called me. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Which is why the web show would put audiences front and center at the hippest comedy club without a two drink minimum. Where people funnier than our friends will make us laugh and feel okay about the specific ways in which we're all screwing up our kids. Exactly. Plus, although our audience is very affluent and eager to spend money, they won't have to leave their house and pay a babysitter. No. Or tip a valet. Right. Or be the designated driver. Or even get dressed. Oh, really? I'm going to watch at your house, Dan. Is that sexual harassment? I yeah. think it is. <laughs> Not appropriate. Tonally, um, the show, you know, I'm going to cue someone to put up the PowerPoint because I think that would be helpful. Yeah, we have a great PowerPoint. It's really cute. Lot. Okay, there it is. It really is. enhances what we're saying. Um, uh, tonally, the show will uh, be a cross between modern family and, say, deaf poetry jam. Or it's like last comic standing. Yes, yes, it's last parent standing. Oh, wait, no, you know what it is? It's parenthood meets American Idol. Right, except there's no voting and there's no music, so. Oh, right, exactly, okay. Right. Well, um, each episode will feature parents. This is a show for parents, by parents, and about parents. I can't emphasize that this is not just a mommy show. Over half our contributors and our audience is men. And each season will bring about 10 episodes, five to eight minutes in length, 
featuring some of the most acclaimed writers and performers available today. Oh, no, don't say available today. Why, why can't I say that? Because we don't need them today. Oh. Uh, well, what we mean is some of the most acclaimed and talented performers that have ever been born. Yes, that's strong. very good, very strong. Thanks. We really believe that the format of this live performance, this sort of story time for the parents, really allows the greatest amount of flexibility in finding the most appropriate distribution model. Whether we wind up on a widely used platform like AOL or Yahoo, or whether we go with a syndication model where we get in front of as many sites as possible and seen by as many eyeballs as possible. Oh, eyeballs. Now, now, when you say eyeballs, is that like a technical term because of your standing in the community as a web winner for web therapy? No, I mean eyeballs. Oh, webby winner, webby winner, webby. <laughs> Am I saying that 10 times fast? That's all I'm saying, webby no, or, winner. Or just say it twice. We just won a second webby th uh, for web therapy for outstanding comedy series. Wow. Um, so, Fan Are you going to the awards? Yeah, it's on Monday. Are you wearing that? I was going to. Well, I guess I'm not now. Great, Let's thanks go. for that. Thanks for ruining another thing for me. <laughs> I um, No, it's, it's true. I am no stranger to brand integration, having co-produced and co-created with my partner Lisa Kudrow and Don Roos three seasons of web therapy, which has been sponsored by Lexus. So for Afterbirth, we're very excited about talking about the infinite number of possibilities, along with our agency partners and with any brand, to talk about organic and authentic and creative ways to integrate any brand. Any, oh, no, well, no, don't say any brand. Why not? Any brand, like Halliburton? Oh, yeah, not our demo. No. No. <laughs> little little blow-up humor, okay. So, um, uh, each season is gonna be produced by us, me and Dan, so we don't just perform, but we'll also be the executive producers, and we'll be able to choose from a crazy amount of talent that was, you know, you were gonna be blasted by on this PowerPoint, but I'm just gonna tell you now, lots of Emmy winners. We have Mike O'Malley, who's on Glee, Marin Dungey currently shooting Hung. It is some exciting stuff. There's over 75 contributors over the years to the show and the book, which I'll be signing out in the lobby. Oh, no, 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 very loud crowd. no, you're not signing books. Why don't I get to sign books? Because if they want a book, they can download it from Amazon and do it digitally. This whole day is about embracing new media. Ah, that's right. Books are so old media. Can I sign your Kindle, though? Because I will sign a Kindle. No, we're not signing a Kindle. That is funny we, stuff. We really want to thank you so much for this opportunity. We're <laughs> excited about talking about our content with any brand. And we want to thank CAA and Third Act and Digitas for this opportunity to talk to you about Afterbirth. Yes. Thank you so, thank so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, yeah, thank you. Awesome. It's hilarious. We need more, fu more funny parenting. Okay. One more thing, and then you guys can do your meet and greet. We're going to show you a real, uh, it's a content showcase of different great content on the web. And I don't know about you, but my nipples could cut glass. It's so cold in here. Let's go. <laughs>